Is an anti-cheat coming to the Microsoft Store version of Roblox? And what is this error that people are having? I'll be getting into it in this video. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but recently, some Roblox games have enabled some type of UWP exploit detection. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can see a little bit of that on screen. And you might be wondering, what's, what's going on? So, there's a few games, I'll have a list of them right there, that actually have implemented this already. And this has been a feature that you could do beforehand, but just now, games have started to implement it. And you might be wondering if this is going to become a problem or something, or, you know, what's going on necessarily. And I have to tell you that you shouldn't have to worry, at least about this. There's also some other news that you guys might not be aware of, which I'll get into shortly. So this type of UWP detection is basically blocking some, in some games, blocking you from joining the game at all when you're on the Microsoft Store version. But some games, they just detect the injection of a UWP executor, like Yvonne, which you guys can get in the last link. It's the same for all the UWP executors really right now. Now, and they, they can get detected and by detected I mean they just kick you from the game and just don't let you join so nothing really happens other than you just can't join the game on the Microsoft Store version but there's no need to worry because we have already found a bypass for this and I mean it's really simple so I'll just tell you what you do you join Roblox you join the main screen where you pick a game and then all you have to do is inject and then join a game and sometimes that bypasses the detection so it's it's an extremely easy workaround, as you can tell. I mean, you literally do one step more to bypass it. And uh, this actually isn't for like all exploits. The exploit developer actually has to implement this in order to get this bypass going. And Yvon does have it. So guys, check out Yvon in the last link below. And I will also be doing a showcase video on 4.5, the new version, sooner or later. And I think it's something just unexpected i don't think anybody thought this was a feature anybody was going to add really but something else i wanted to discuss was the new rdc announcement i don't know if you guys have seen but recently roblox announced that they're planning on adding hyperion into the microsoft store version of roblox which if you guys don't know what hyperion is it's basically bifron that's bifron's anti-cheat so hyperion is currently in the browser version and they're also planning on adding it to the microsoft store version so this might make you worried and you know you're like what are we gonna do now but everybody is working towards trying to figure something out and so is yvonne if anybody is gonna go away from the platform it's certainly not going to be Yvonne because we're always going to continue to try to figure out how to get through this just like we did when Byron was first added right and of course they're also planning on doing that to Android they've already had like three different Android anti-cheat but they never helped <laughs> uh, I mean that's nothing new with Roblox and their anti-cheats typically it doesn't do anything but anyways that's something new they're planning on implementing and I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but a lot of people are panicking and I just have to say that you shouldn't be too worried because I'm sure somebody will figure out some type of bypass and if they do, I will be the first one to make a video on it or at least the first in this community to make a video on it. And also, once again, Yvonne 4.5 is coming out and even if they do add Bifron to the Microsoft Store version of Roblox, we will still be able to bypass and we will have some type of exploiting abilities and something else i also wanted to talk about but came up quite recently is actually scriptware i know a lot of you guys know what scriptware is it's probably one of the closest competitors to synapse and they just shut down so as you can see on the screenshot their site is no longer up and they're saying oh you know we're down for now and for the past few months since Byfront actually released on the web version about like five four months or so Scriptor has been down but their site has been fully functioning and okay and they even actually posted some updates of them getting some type of bypass but just a few days ago they changed their website to display this and now there's nothing you can't access anything you can't access any of the stores or things like that and I will make another video on this, going through some other exploits that are possibly shutting down. And I will be talking about it more in depth. But I thought it's something that some of you guys should know if you don't already. Because uh, it's quite, uh, you know, quite interesting. 
Yeah, but I think this new UWP detection is definitely something that I feel like a lot of more games will implement just because, you know, why not? I mean, UWP right now is the only platform people can exploit on, really. Uh, there is a few other things that people are able to do, but I'm not going to get into that this video. I might talk about that in the future. So just let me know if you guys are curious on how people are bypassing the browser version of Roblox. But anyways, I feel like that's something a lot of more games are going to add, but at the same time, a lot of executors are going to work on trying to bypass that and continue to operate even if they do try to block us. And I think that they're not going to get very far with adding Bifron to web store because if you guys watched my previous video right there, I actually explained why they couldn't add Bifron to the web store originally at least was because the web store doesn't allow obfuscated code on their platform. So if if they added the Bifron and Hyperion anti-cheat, then it would have to be open source, which means exploiters can just look at the source and then, you know, they'd be able to bypass it. So it would be essentially pretty pointless. But now, I mean, they're pl they're saying they're planning on adding it. So let's see what really happens. Maybe it will be open source. Maybe they'll make like an exception for Roblox. If you want to hear more about that, I did make a video literally just about that. So watch that video once again. It's up in the card right there. So watch that if you want more information on that. But I, I'm just really curious to see what they're planning on doing and what will happen. Let me know, guys, what you think down below and your thoughts on this whole situation. If you've ever, if you heard about this so far, if this is the first time hearing it. Certainly, when I first heard about the announcement, I was a little worried. But I just want to assure you guys and just... Don't be afraid. They've they've added anti-cheats and stuff like that plenty of times before, but that hasn't stopped anyone, right? So just don't be too worried about it. Yvon will continue to work and we are continuing to work on 4.5, which is the newest version. And it will hopefully fix all the bugs that you guys have been experiencing. I will also make a showcase video on that once it's ready, of course. So stay tuned for that and I will let you know. But thank you for sticking along till the end of the video because that supports the channel the most. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, and let me know what you think once again. Also, check out this video. You guys can also watch the other video where I talk about Bifron, but make sure to watch this video where I talk about the whole Microsoft Store and Bifron situation. It's It gives you a lot more information if you want to hear more about this. That'll give you some more insight into how everything works. So definitely check that out. But thank you for sticking along till the end once again. And hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.